Hey guys, Matt here, and welcome to this brand new video. In this one, we've got Stacy, my girlfriend, once again. <laughs> uh, you guys seem to really enjoy the video uh, that I last did with her on Ted Lapidus's Altamir. Uh, great fragrance, and uh, thank you so much for being in that one. And of course, thank you so much for being in this one. Really means a lot. Now, I don't think you've smelled this one really have you that much in my collection, like compared no, to other ones. I've never have smelled it before, actually. So this is a new one, really, mm -hmm. isn't it? To, yeah. For us to kind of review. I mean, I've reviewed this before. I reviewed this uh, quite a quite a while ago. I actually got this in duty free in Heathrow Airport. I think I paid for this. Actually, it was actually quite cheap at the time. And the fragrance we're going to be talking about, guys, is Narciso Rodriguez for him. Now, if you guys have ever smelled this, then you'll you'll know quite a lot about it. It's definitely not a groundbreaking fragrance, but it's a nice one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So the house of Narciso Rodriguez is an American house, and uh, they were founded originally in 1997. And it's getting quite a few good re rewards, in all fairness. Their first fragrance... I'm just trying to look it up here to see when their first fragrance was released. And according to Fragranica, their first fragrance was for women. Narciso Rodriguez for her in 2003. I really do it's, like. it's definitely a very, very nice fragrance. So the scent was created by Francis Kirkjan. Now, he is a, he's brilliant. I mean, he has his own fragrance line, uh, Mason Francis Kirkjan, that's the name of his company. There is also flankers to this, there's a Blue Noir version. Uh, I haven't actually smelled that one, I don't know if it's the same fragrance as this. If it is, it would probably make sense, because then it would make it a, a pure flanker. This was released way back in 2007, and like I said before, it was made by Francis Kirkjan. So, let's get down to talking about the notes. Now, we sprayed this before, didn't we? You've mm -hmm. got it on, mm -hmm. you've got it on your hand. I'm just gonna spray some here. Here's the sprayer for it, guys. It's incredible. Now, many, many years ago, when I first did my review for this, I read online that this scent was actually inspired by those aromatic fougeres of the 1980s. There's, it doesn't have a dated smell to it. It doesn't have an 80s smell to it, but the notes that's in here definitely do captivate the, those sort of old school blends, without a doubt. There's only four notes in here, and I'm going to post them on the screen right now, so we're going to talk about them. And those notes are violet leaf, musk, patchouli, and amber. Uh, there's no amber in this fragrance, to be honest with you, but what I really do get out of this is I get that violet leaf straight up top. Uh, it doesn't create, like, a palmer violet candy kind of... Well, actually, maybe a little bit. Maybe like a tiny touch of Parma Violet Sweets. Um, I kind of get that sort of vibe. With this just overload on musk, uh, which is very clean smelling. But when you do spray this, you get this kind of watery vibe. You saw, you said that before. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. When we were looking at the Accords for this fragrance, uh, the Accords here are ozonic, musky, patchouli, aquatic, powdery, uh, woody, amber, warm, spicy, earthy, and green. Uh, there is definitely this aquatic, I mean, I'm not going to say straight up aquatic. It does have this watery element to it, but a lot of people have even said that they would rather wear this scent on a rainy day. In fact, you know what? It's even hard to tell how much juice I've even got left. Yeah, go on top. You can't even hear it either. I think I'm honestly about halfway through this bottle, but it's really hard to tell because the bottle itself looks like it's got this, uh, I don't even know what you call it. It kind of looks like it's filled with wax as opposed to actual uh, liquid, but that's just the, the cool look with the bottle, you know. It's probably like a resin or something. They do yeah. That, they do that with most bottles. Some bottles to like preserve it, don't they? Yeah, that is true. Preserve the look of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is just a very much a... Uh, in all honesty, it's really nothing groundbreaking at all. This is just a, a, a straight up musk violet leaf fragrance with... A little bit of patchouli in there as well, which makes it very green. But it is just this simple, classy blend, in all honesty. I mean, it just goes to show you that you don't need lemon in a fragrance, or any citruses, or really any spices to make a fragrance smell nice. This is primarily just uh, musks, a uh, little bit of floral from that violet, and of course, 
Not to mention the the green patchouli that's in there. Mm, it's not it's not one of my favorites, but I would say it's still like a good six or seven. Ultimate is one of your favorites. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> but how would you say like done. say like when you think of Ultimate, like that one's one of your favorites. How would you compare it to this? What what would you say about this? Do you know what I mean? If that even makes sense. That one's a bit more mossy and green than other than obviously compared to um Ultimate because Ultimate is very sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. It is sweet with that orange blossom and that amber. Yeah. Yeah, and it, that just happens to be the kind of notes that you like, isn't it? Yeah, I do like sweet. Sweet, sweet notes, kind of notes, yeah. yeah. Whereas this doesn't have that sweet smell, if anything. Uh, it's like you, you get them a lot these days. I mean, I'm not. We're not talking about. I mean, Sissy's not really talking about that blue kind of fresh smell. Uh, what she's talking about is the kind of. I mean, if you guys have ever smelt Ultimate, yeah. I mean, that's the review that we did together on uh, my channel a couple of. Uh, weeks ago and uh, that one you really do like that one but mm -hmm. that, there's there's no really comparing it uh, with this one it's very very different to Altamir so, yeah you really can't compare them this is just very different to Altamir and Altamir is very different to this so but if I did have to compare it to anything um, you know what I don't think there is anything I used to compare this to a fragrance called gravity in my collection which is somewhere around here I don't even know where the hell it is <laughs> Gravity by Cody. I do a little, compare it to this a little bit. A tiny, tiny bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gravity, this this is more of a kind of leathery, citrus uh, type of fragrance. It's it's a little bit fresh, spicy, but I, I used to really compare this to this. Smells nice. Do you think it's a, just a masculine fragrance? Do you think a woman could get away with this? Yeah, I think more. I think it's more suited to men. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's I not mean, something I would particularly wear. I don't think yeah. it would. Something would be nice for um, a woman to wear. I don't think. No. No. Nah, fair enough. See, because usually fragrances can be unisex, but I mean, personally, let's have a look. I could, I could imagine this on a woman. I really could. You know, there's nothing in it that's really masculine. In all fairness, probably the only real masculine note that's in here is maybe that patchouli but when you smell the smell itself it doesn't have this overall masculine smell i don't think personally yeah. i mean maybe that's just because i'm really into more masculine fragrances than this so maybe that's why i'm giving this less marks for being a masculine scent but a very nice unique fragrance that lasts for a good six hours it doesn't project the biggest like in, in terms of like any other fragrance but when you spray this it sits close to the skin and it pretty much stays there for a good five to six hours at least on my skin it might be different on anybody else's we all different we all have different skin chemistry so uh, it really just depends on you but yeah I've always getting five to six hours out of this but just a really nice musk patchouli violet leaf based fragrance that uh it's definitely uh, worth the money, in my opinion. I think you can get this fragrance. I don't even know if you can actually still buy this one. But uh, there's a lot of flankers for it. There's the Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir. There's the Blue Noir Eau de Toilette. Not to mention the Eau de Parfum. There's also a, an Intense. And there's a Musk version as well. And not to mention a Musk Oil for, for men as well. So it seems to have quite a decent... Uh, selection in all fairness but if you're looking for a nice musk based fragrance this is really really good to go for i would highly recommend this great fragrance so yeah that's all i really have to say that my phone's gonna go off because it has terrible battery life so <laughs> uh yeah um thank you so much for doing this um okay. really appreciate it and i will see you all in the next video bye guys